Hey everybody, welcome back to Women Carry Knives. On the table in front of us, we're not looking at the pen. I just realized I had that sitting here. We are going to be taking a look at the ProTech Calmigo. I am loving this little guy. Now this usually retails for about $129. And, you know, it's a little bit expensive, but it is a fun little knife. I am really enjoying it. It has been a great pocket knife, just a regular pocket. It has also been a wonderful fifth pocket knife. Um, I have also, um, when I walk, I wear yoga pants, and this has been a great knife to have in the yoga pants. You can just drop it in the pocket, put it on your waistband. I can strap it to my um, sports top and I'm ready to go. It's been really, really wonderful, and I don't have a problem carrying it because it is, you know, California legal, which is just awesome. You have got on this one, it is so snappy. Oh, just love it. It's got a 154 cm drop point blade. It is an um, auto, and it does have an aluminum handle. I do like the feature on this one. You have the secondary lock, which is for safety. So you are going to lock it open. And if you would like, you can also lock it closed, Woohoo! which is awesome. Uh, Protect just makes some of the snappiest knives, and I really do like that. I think it's interesting how heavy this little knife is for being its size, because again, it is very small. If you want to do a little comparison right off the bat, we can take a, well, hello, Therapeutic Edge. Where'd you come from? Are you hiding? Yes. Okay. Knives scare me. Knives scare you. So if we want to take a look at it next to the Rat 2, you can see how tiny that is. If we want to take a look next to the Rat 1, yes, the Therapeutic Edge? Stepped on something sharp. Oh, it was not the tacks I threw down on the floor, I swear. That's very tacky. Next, uh-huh, dad jokes. Um, next to the Rat 1, it is very tiny, but again... Um, I've been getting into bigger knives lately, but it is very important to me when I am out and about alone or walking at night to have something that I can actually just stick in my walking pants, um, something that I can stick in my fifth pocket, something that's readily available, and this is one of those. So you're going to see me doing a lot of different reviews coming up, um, all different sizes, because I'm kind of all over the map right now. I'm not really faithful to one size. Uh, the blade length on this one, going over some specs, so your blade length is like 1.9 inches. We're going to go ahead and call it 2 because it is just so close to 2. Your handle length is 3.5 inches, which is going to give you an overall length of just a hair under 5.5 inches. Now, for being such a small knife, oh, I'm sorry, it's been a very long day. For being such a small knife... This thing actually weighs 2.1 ounces, which I was I, I was fairly surprised at. I thought it was going to weigh a little bit less than that. But um, the fit in hand, um, if you're doing something, you know, more strenuous or more um, heavy duty, you're not going to want to use this one because it's very small. Like I said, you know, my, my fourth finger is just kind of barely getting on there. Um, you can't really choke up because you don't really have a choil, but you can choke up in the fact that, you know, you can move your hand position up because you do have the jimping, which I really do like on the back of the handle here, which is really nice. Comfortably, it fits in hand. Now, this is a right hand tip up carry only, um, auto. So, I mean, tip up, but you know, it is automatic. Um, the... Clip is pretty low riding, if you can see that. You know, it does ride pretty low, and it is a deep carry, so it does ride nice in your pocket. And it is recessed in there. I don't know if you can see that. So you have a recessed pocket clip with recessed screws, which is always a good thing because you don't want your knives shredding your pants. So definitely a plus to it. If you like lanyards, you do have a lanyard, hole, um, lanyard space here where you can go ahead and put it. Um... I, again, I love the snappiness of, of this knife, and, and pretty much every ProTech I have is just 
you know, fires out like crazy. Usually when I hand somebody a ProTac and, you know, I tell them, hey, you want to check it out? And they say, yes. I just tell them, just hang on to it. It's really snappy. And most of you that have had ProTex, you can agree with me, I would think. Yeah, it's been a really, really good knife so far. Now, we haven't sharpened it. It's still very, very sharp, which is pretty good. Um, like I said, it is the 154 CM blade. But... Yeah, you know, we haven't, I mean, we're not doing anything super strenuous, but for the amount of boxes it's cut open and everything, it doesn't seem to have dulled it at all, which is a huge plus to it. Um, I absolutely love that factor. Uh, if we compare that to, I already did the rat too, but I wanted to show you one of the other knives I've been carrying lately, and what did I do with it, is my Spyderco Dragonfly 2. So... I've been carrying more fifth pocket knives um, lately just because sometimes you have a regular knife and sometimes you have a fifth pocket knife with you. So sometimes I've been carrying two. But if we want to take a look at that one next to the Dragonfly, you can see it is basically the same size. So again, it is one of my fifth pocket carries and I love, you know, carrying these now. Um, I don't always choose an automatic because I like to be able to close my knife one-handed and I really can't do that with an automatic. But so depending on what I'm doing is going to, to determine which one I'm actually carrying for the day. But for the most point part, you will find me um, maybe at least two days out of the week. I've actually got two knives on me now and you know, that's just a thing and I think you guys are rubbing off on me. That may be the deal. Um, I do believe, or I don't know if I said that this runs for about $129. Um, I love the fidget factor on this. Now, I've heard people say that they've had issues with it. I don't have any at all. Um, it's not, to me, it's not slippery. You would think being aluminum it would be, but no. When we were using it the other day, it was, well, we've, we've had some very high temperatures here. And not a problem at all. You know, 105 degrees, you're outside doing stuff, cutting up some cardboard, whatever. And, and yes, it's in the sun where I have to do it. Wasn't a problem. Did not slide out of hand. As I said, fit really good. Um, this is going to be more of just a box cutter if you're going to have larger hands because you're just not going to get that good of a grip on it. However, again, it is great as a fifth pocket carry. Um, I love the fact, again, that you have the secondary safety lock, so you can almost use it like a fixed blade, you know, and that's great. I love it when knives have that, not all the time, depending on the size. I think it's absolutely wonderful for this one. All right, you guys, that has been a look, I love the sound of that, of the ProTech Snap Calmigo. If you like this knife definitely go check it out. It's one that I think you should get in hand and try. I think you should get any of the knives I review. Get them in hand. Um, they are definitely ones that are to my liking. They may not be towards your liking, but um, they're definitely mine. And, you know, I, you don't know what you're going to think of a knife until you actually get it in hand. So I, it's always a suggestion if you live near a knife store or you can, you know, travel to one that's not too far, absolutely do that. All right, you guys, thank you again so much for joining me. This has been the ProTech Calmigo. I would love to have you be here all the time as a subscriber. So if you are not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way out. It does help the channel. And as always, feel free to let, leave me any comments down in the comment section. You know I love talking to you. Until next time.